PeopleSoft People Tools drives the look and feel of the PeopleSoft user interface. Previous to People Tools 856, the themes being used were PeopleSoft Classic, which is also known as the Tangerine theme, and PeopleSoft Fluid, which was developed for mobile devices. With People Tools 856, PeopleSoft Classic Plus was introduced, and FSCM Image 26 contains code changes that enable some FSCM pages to work with Classic Plus. The People Tools 856 Classic Plus feature is turned on when you select the Make Me Current option for the FSCM Image 26 installation. The FSCM product and the component determines the Classic Plus style sheet. Not all products and component combinations have been redesigned for Classic Plus. Therefore, you may have a combination of Classic and Classic Plus components. Here's an example of a Classic page using the Tangerine theme. This is the same page using the Classic Plus Fluid-like theme. The page controls on Classic Plus pages resemble the page controls on Fluid pages. However, these components and pages remain as a PeopleSoft Classic definition. Therefore, certain aspects of the PeopleSoft Fluid user interface experience are absent. For example, dynamic responsive rendering across all supported device types. Because the Classic Plus feature is turned on when you select Make Me Current, PeopleSoft delivers the Classic Plus setup page where you can disable the feature by product and component. This page can also be used to re-enable the Classic Plus feature by product and component if you disable it. This completes our discussion of the Classic Plus feature. Oracle PeopleSoft delivers the Fluid Finance and Accounting homepage in Image 26. This feature allows you to organize work by roles and access associated Fluid tiles, pages, and pivot grids. In this example, use the My Recon by Due Date tile and page to view the associated pivot grid. This pivot grid displays reconciliations for the individual signed in based on the reconciliation due date. You can use the facets on the left panel to analyze pivot data, select facets to filter data displayed in the pivot grid, drag and drop facets into the rows on the right panel, and display the grid data as a bar chart, line chart, pie chart, or horizontal bar chart. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Finance and Accounting homepage feature. Oracle PeopleSoft delivers the Fluid Grants Management homepage in Image 26. Tiles provide a quick view of the number of tasks coming due, approaching end dates, and expirations. Administrators can review and update award teams, milestones, and certifications prioritized by due date. Additional tiles provide visibility into funds and awards approaching their end date, the amount of pre-award spending, and expiring letters of credit. Grants administrators now have access to a series of new actionable tiles, pivot grids, grants navigation collections, and work center. Use the grants homepage to prioritize tasks required by your sponsor and proactively monitor funding, status of deliverables, and periods of performance. Let's take a look at the Award Milestones tile, which allows you to view details of milestones that are approaching their due date. From the Award Milestones Pivot Grid page, you can use the facets on the left panel to analyze pivot data, select facets to filter data displayed in the pivot grid, drag and drop facets into the rows on the right panel to display grid data as a bar chart, line chart, pie chart, or horizontal bar chart, select a milestone from the grid, and then select Update Milestone from Related Actions, and update the due date, status, and enter comments. Oracle PeopleSoft also delivers the Customer Contracts Fluid homepage in Image 26. This homepage is a Fluid-enabled launching point into the Contracts application. It provides Contracts administrators, revenue analysts, and contract billing professionals access to review contract billing, revenue, and other contract-level information. This homepage also provides customers access to My Contracts and frequently used pages from the Contracts Work Center and Navigation Collections. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Grants Management and Customer Contracts homepages feature. Asset tracking enhancements include options to scan assets within a specific location and area ID, which builds an audit history for the asset in that location, 
view comments captured during asset scanning, and view pivot grids of asset scans in progress, duplicate tags, scan results, and scan history. When you select the scan by location tile, you can specify the area ID while tracking assets. The system displays the old and new locations as well as the old and new area IDs. When you scan assets by location, you can add comments. These comments can be viewed on the Basic Add Location Comments Attributes page with all other asset comments. Use the Scan Scope List tile to view a pivot grid that displays the status of physical inventory IDs in progress and a list of assets scanned. The Scan Duplicate Tag tile displays a pivot grid that identifies assets with duplicate tags. Use the Scan Results tile to view a pivot grid where you can review matching results and take the necessary actions. View a pivot grid and browse through the history of scans completed with the Scan History tile. This completes our discussion of the Fluid Asset Tracking Usability Enhancements. FSCM Image 26 adds the following approval workflows to PeopleSoft Asset Management asset disposal pending approvals, and asset self-service pending approvals. Approvers can access asset disposal or asset self-service to review information before taking any approval actions. To view more details of an asset disposal pending approval, select a row. The asset disposal page displays the details of the originator who requested the asset disposal and all the asset disposal requests currently routed for approval. The approval actions include approve, deny, pushback, or place an asset disposal on hold. To view the pushback and hold actions, select the More button. Select an asset disposal row to view the approval line detail page, which displays asset and asset retirement information. Review the details and select Back to Header to return to the asset disposal page. The Asset Self-Service page displays the list of all asset self-service requests that are routed to approvers. Approvers can review the details displayed, enter comments, and view the approval chain before they approve, deny, or hold the requests. This completes our discussion of the Asset Management Fluid Approvals Phase 2 feature. In Image 26, Two transactions are implemented using fluid approvals, approving resource assignments, and approving schedule changes in an assignment. The Pending Approvals Resource Assignment page displays the assignments that are currently routed for approval. Use the filter to narrow the results on the page. Use the resource assignment details to approve, deny, or push back an assignment. This page was created in Page Composer, making it a configurable drag-and-drop page that can be designed to meet the visibility requirements of an approver. This completes our discussion of the Resource Management Fluid Approval and Page Composer feature. The Fluid Program Management Approval and Page Composer feature provides project and program managers with the ability to approve program budgets and project requests. Select the Program Budget Approval link to approve a program budget and the Project Request Approval link to approve a project request. On the Program Budgets page, reviewers can use the Program Budget Plan link to view the details. They can also view the Program Budget Approval details, select Approve to approve the program budget, or select Return to return a program budget approval request back to the requester without approving. This is a configurable drag-and-drop page that you can design to meet the visibility requirements of an approver using Page Composer. For project requests, reviewers can use the Link to Project Request page to view the details. They can also view the Project Request Approval details, select Approve to approve the project request, select Deny to deny the approval, or select More to return the project request to the requester or reassign the request to the project manager for costing. This completes our discussion of the Fluid Program Management Approval and Page Composer feature. You can now approve supplier change requests using the PeopleSoft Fluid User Interface. The Pending Approvals Supplier Change Request page displays the supplier change requests that are currently routed for approval. 
use the filter to narrow the results on the page. On the Supplier Change Request page, Review and Approve, Deny, Push Back, or Request More Information. Use the links displayed on the page to view additional details about the supplier change request, such as the change details. The Change Details page compares the current values to the previous values that were changed. This completes our discussion of the Fluid Approval for Supplier Change Request feature. Lease amendments allow users to update lease details after lease activation. Amendments can include lease remeasurement, modification, or error correction. For Image 26, the lease amendment feature has been extended for lease reclassifications, which may result from a lease remeasurement. After recalculating lease liability, you can select yes or no in the Reassess Classification field on the Amendment History Amendments page. This will reassess the lease classification. Lease reclassification results in recategorizing the underlying assets for the lease. The category that is associated with the lease must be updated for the underlying assets. Finance leased assets are assigned to a depreciable asset category. Operating leased assets are assigned to a non-depreciable asset category. This completes our discussion of the Payables Lease Reclassification feature. The following features have also been added in FSCM Image 26. Chart field override for mobile adjustments in maintenance management. Spain VAT registration phase 2. Do not process bills in a closed accounting period. And Dunning related actions from collections workbench in receivables. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on my Oracle support, and go to the PeopleSoft information portal for updates.